So why do people reply to spam emails? You know, I mean, it's odd, isn't it, given the fact that they are preposterous, and they are preposterous. I got your contact from a South African health officer in Ghana. I find that unlikely. <laughs> I need to move a thousand carats of polished diamond. Equally unlikely. Note this transaction is a hundred percent risk-free and does not attract any danger. <laughs> Commander Karoma. Funny, isn't it? I mean, this is ridiculous, right? And it's, it's funny that anyone would reply to it. But if you think about it, this is actually rather clever because by making the scams ridiculous, ideally for the scammer, the only people who are going to reply are the most gullible people. And me. I said, I'm in. Then he told me to email Liberty Law Firm at lawfirm.co.uk, which is an amazing email address. Then he said, send me your phone number. So I, uh, I gave him the phone number of Goldman Sachs, the bank. I wanted him to think I was rich. I probably shouldn't have done that, because the next email I got said, James Veach, I'm not sure you are real at all. You give me phone numbers of a bank, which I call, and they say that you are not real, that they don't know you. They even advised me... <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm an army intelligent. Is that a, is that a thing? I didn't know what to say. I said, look, there was never a shred of doubt in my mind that I was dealing with an intelligent... <laughs> how can I prove to you that I'm real? I mean, how can you prove that you're real? In truth, how can any of us prove <laughs> that we are real? P.S., what are you sending me? I've forgotten. He said, the contents of the consignment is a thousand carats of rough diamonds worth $7.5 million. You and I will use it for investment in Europe. I said, that's amazing. What are we going to invest in? <laughs> I'm not much of a stock market player myself, but I've got a strong hunch. Hummus is going to be big. <laughs> can I have a picture of the consignment? Well, guys, yes, I can. Boom. Enigma, right? <laughs> then he said, send me your ID, passport, driver's license, or any, any of your valid ID. <laughs> it was valid at the time. Then he said, you will need to set up an account with our bank and pay the fee. This is quite common. Like there, he has multiple email addresses. He pretends like it's another company. And I thought about it. I thought, OK, I'll do that. And I thought I'd throw something into the mix just to see what he did with it. So I said, look, I'll set up a new account with your bank. There's an offer of a free toaster on at the moment, and I've got my heart set on it. He said, don't worry about getting a toaster. I thought, I'll be the judge of that. And then he told me to contact this bank. Now, the bank is masquerading as Royal Bank of Scotland, right? But what I love is their email address is info at Royal BS. <laughs> which I think is perfect. And then he said, don't delay. I don't have much days here on Earth. I said, when are you leaving us? seen anybody that is more unserious as you are. Even if I die soon, do you have to mock me with it? Just get it. I said, 
said, dude, I had no idea we were talking about your death. He said, what were you thinking I was talking about? Am I going to mass? I said, where's mass? Ooh, is that where the toaster is? He said, sorry, I mean Mars, one of the nine planets of the solar system. I just think, if he doesn't know, it's going to be a shock. <laughs> I figured I'm done with this guy. I'm going to send an email to Royal BS, right? So I sent him an email. I said, look, dear Royal Bank of Scotland, I'm writing to you about some bling lieutenant commander who's leaving me and a free toaster you're giving me for opening the account. They go back to me very quickly. They said, please send us the Federal account opening form. And there is no free toaster. <laughs> Raj Ramesh, head of costumer care. I thought, these guys are good. <laughs> Dear Costumer Care, <laughs> are you sure? Because I heard I was getting a free gift for opening the account. What sort of costumes do you do? <laughs> he said, there is no bonanza going on. And that, that did strike me as an odd choice of word. I think, right, what must have happened is he must have looked at the word competition in his language and found a synonym, which was bonanza. But it still struck me as odd. And then he said, and even if there was, conditions would apply. <laughs> and I'll be honest, that pissed me off. <laughs> because you cannot tell me the conditions apply to a competition that I literally just made up. So what I did is I, I opened up uh, Photoshop, and uh, I took a day, uh, and uh, I sent them something. I made and sent them something. So this is what I said. I said, then how do you explain this? And this is, uh, this is what I sent them. <laughs> Free toaster. With any new account, Toaster Bonanza! And then check it out, guys. No conditions apply. <laughs> I thought, get out of that. A and he did. He said, uh, that do not include Royal Bank of Scotland worldwide. <laughs> I said, what are my options I could do with a new account? He said, we will appreciate it if you do not bring up this gift to me again, because you won't get any. <laughs> I said, just to be clear, are you saying if I bring it up again, I won't get it? If I don't bring it up again, I will? Or are you just saying I won't get it at all? <laughs> Please stop talking <laughs> of a free toaster. And I, I'll be honest, I thought I've almost done it, right? I've almost, I'm almost, because part of me just wants, really wants to kind of annoy them almost as much as they annoy us. And I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a broken man. <laughs> do do this at home. Do do this at home. I mean, don't use your own email address, get yourself a fake email address, but do do this at home, because not only do you have a chance to, to stop them doing actual damage, but it's also a chance to, to have fun, to play. That being said, I thought I'd back off a bit. I said, uh, of course, I shan't bring up again. You have my word. He said, what we want from you is to do the right things. I said, I've done some research. <laughs> Please stop being with me now. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone.